looking at our webs. It is like 10 after nine and I am just making my short, what, like two and a half minute drive to town to go to the cafe. I am both early and late. I had not intended to even get up until 9.30, 9.45 so I could be there at 10. The lunch starts at 11. But I got a text at 7.45 saying that the supplies, I guess, weren't even delivered last night until like after everybody left the cafe. So I guess things aren't prepped like the baked potatoes and stuff aren't wrapped in foil to be thrown in the oven and the coleslaw isn't made and blah, blah, blah. So I am uh, working on uh, getting there. This is about as early as I could. I told them I'd be there at 8.30, but it just, it didn't happen. So they can just deal with that because they could have told me in advance and nobody did. So that's the way it goes. I'm sure nobody will ultimately care, but it's still frustrating being out of the loop. Like, if you want me to do the things, then you need to tell me about the things. If you're not going to tell me, then I am perfectly content to not be involved, which I just would like to not be involved. But, you know, it's one of those things where once you're in, you're in. So, I am headed there. I should be there shortly. Enjoy the beautiful fallness this morning. All the trees have already turned, and then all of the fields are now pretty clean they've all been harvested. Um, I guess we're supposed to have some storms or something, at least some wind. She said the next two days are supposed to be windy. So we will see. It's pretty still right now. I am enjoying that because the wind has been driving me nuts. It has been so loud with wind. I was wearing my headphones the other night, listening to my audiobook, and I could still hear the wind. Not a fan you get when you live on the prairie, I guess. Okay, I'm on the way. I'll see you all later. It is 4.11 and I am headed to bed here shortly. I spent the majority of my night sitting here in the recliner, crocheting, watching vlogs on the TV, and uh, being cozy by the fire. Tonight is the first night I made a fire this year. Not the first time we had a fire, but the first night I made one. And it took me more matches than it will by the end of the season, but... I made it happen and it was nice and toasty and yes it was lovely so now I'm just getting things all shut down so that I can head to bed I worked some on my mom's cardigan but I'm on the sleeves and it just wasn't enough for my brain and it's super simple which is great Except if I like my heart isn't in it doing something that simple I am way more likely to do something dumb and mess up a whole bit of it. So Instead I was like, well, what do you want to work on that? Uh, that you've already started so first I was like you need to finish something so I finished this pair of mitts Which is a pattern. I've been working for like I don't know six eight months and they've just been sitting there not getting done so now they are done and I I like them and I'm happy with how they fit. So then since I finished something, I decided I got to start something. So I got this uh, this Woolies in dark rose heather. I made my mom a pair of mitts out of this actually on one of my trips to California. So I got that out and I started to make like, I don't know, I think it's gonna be a cowl or something. I, I haven't quite, I know it's something I want to wear around my neck. I haven't quite decided how I want it all to go together because I don't know how much of this particular yarn I have. Clearly, I don't think I have enough to do a whole thing that's as big and squishy as I want. So it will need to involve some other parts. So now I'm kind of contemplating how that's gonna work. But I had, I had a good time and I was enjoying it and that is what is important. Stuff the cafe went fine today. We had a very successful pork chop dinner. That is good. We will keep the doors open for another month at least. So that is, um, I guess, all we can ask for at this point. We're having a lot of, a lot of turnover in things there right now, and there's just not a lot that can be done about it except trying to, uh, trying to make it work. I guess. Anyways, I uh, came home. It was time for the kids to take their naps. They took their naps. I took a nap. They got up. I got up. We had dinner. We watched a few vlogs. And yeah, we just kind of played and hung out here in the, the parlor. I lit a fire when I got cold. Steve came down for work and he's like, 
I didn't know it was cold enough to need a fire. I said, well, yes, that's because I lit a fire. So it's not that cold in the house. It is, it is getting cooler outside. Um, but it's been a very, a very nice night of cuddling up with a, a cup of tea and some crochet and doing things that I wanted to be doing. So tomorrow I will do all the things that I should be doing. Like I need to finish canning some stuff and there's projects I sh you know, would be better prioritized. But tonight, tonight I enjoyed myself and that is okay. Um, I just was not in a mental place to do anything else. So I just needed to like do what felt good. Anyways, I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.